if you don't fix this you'll keep watching potential customers come to your website and click off without making a single purchase today i'm going to show you how to turn your dropshipping business from an untrustworthy iso to a money making machine if you're ready to stop burning money and start seeing real results then grab a pen and paper because class is in session the landing page is the page where all of your potential customers will arrive after engaging with your ad and the only function of the landing page is to secure that sale this is the website layout i used to test all my products and the first time i used it i ended up getting my first sale after failing consistently for five months so the first thing you guys want to do is to set up your site with the dawn theme now once you're on the product page slash landing page the first thing you want to do is to delete the share button delete the quantity selector because we'll be replacing that soon and to also delete this text box right over here that's usually above the product name now you want to click an add block and select custom liquid and you just want to drag that right here under the price and here is where you're gonna add the three value propositions or unique service propositions of your product. So I'm just gonna put one, two, three, and we'll modify them later on once we're done with the layout in general before we fill it in. Then click on your buy buttons and deselect show dynamic checkout buttons because there's no use having two buttons that basically do the same thing and make sure it's left with only add to cart right there. Next, we're gonna scroll down and add a section for image with text right there and for the image we'll also change that later once we've actually created our own unique images for this product and you want to select the image with a small put the desktop content alignment as center and then edit your color scheme now for your website you want to have three main colors which is white for the background black and one accent color now for this store i'll be using this color right here i already had it saved and i'm just going to replace that over here and see right there the button changed but we also don't want the button to be a part of that so just come down here and actually delete it change that to a new color scheme for the container and then select the color that we selected recently and as you can see the background of that will have changed color to be the accent color of your website and so will the add to cart button now actually going back to the product information you want to select the desktop layout is a thumbnail carousel so that the images down here you can actually just click them to switch because the way it was was like this and no one is going to want to scroll through your images that way they want to get to the information as fast as possible now for this image with text you have to duplicate that twice let's make two more of those image with text and another image with text and now the second one you want to make it so that it's actually image second and then you just change the settings to be the exact same as the others and boom you basically have a layout of three different image with text so you're going to add a rich text and you're gonna drag it all the way over here in between the first and second image with text you want to delete the button and delete this share information and over here you just want to put why people love and then your product name edit that so that the background is the same color as your accent color for the website and then right under that rich text you want to bring in a multi-column just like that image width is one third width of column with the column alignment to be center so that everything looks good accent color and now that looks pretty good just the way i like it add another rich text section and you're just going to add a bit more information here about your product from the chat gpt prompt i'm about to show you guys delete the button label too now at this point the basic framework of the website is set up and you want to paste in this chat gpt prompt which i will leave links down below in the comments and the prompt is basically you are selling a you describe briefly what the product is on whatever ads finish my product page template Keep my marketing angle geared towards people who whatever so i'm actually going to fill that in now the outline emoji with feature one emoji with feature two emoji with feature three and those are actually those the custom liquid that i told you guys to add then fill in the collapsible tabs below which is gonna be our how it works our guarantee and the shipping information of our product then main benefit headline and a paragraph explaining the main benefit that's going to be where you fill in the image with text and now these are going to where you fill in the multi-column continue down as i said the image with text image with text 
and then you have your 30 day guarantee and an FAQ and under this you're going to want to add your FAQ which we're actually going to set up later once we send in the chat GPT prompt because we don't know how many tabs our frequently asked questions will have so I'm just going to send that through and the first thing that chat GPT sends you basically just want to ignore it and tell it let me educate you on my product a bit more tell it the product name the product is perfect for people who walk their dogs frequently but hate picking up dog poop and then you have to give it five benefits of your product and then now the second one is one we're gonna use so it says here for our custom liquid and a little bit of sauce I'm gonna tell you guys is you want to set up your code like this so that you actually have space between them so they're actually bulleted out and not you know stuck between the same line so the first thing was the hidden claw design so I'm just gonna come in here and type That's basically how you want yours to look. Also change your desktop media width for this to medium because we actually want our words to be a bit bigger. And keep in mind that this website, you must optimize it for mobile view because most of your sessions are going to be coming from mobile devices. So you just want to keep coming back through and looking at it, making sure that it looks all good on the mobile view because that's what matters the most. Next, the how it works, our guarantee and shipping info, add a little collapsible row. And in that collapsible row, we're actually going to duplicate it and add two more because we're going to be needing three. Now the first one is going to be our how it works. And you want to come and paste what ChatGPT mentioned here. And you want to basically do the same for all three. Now for the shipping info, you want to change the icon here to the truck. For our guarantee, you want to put that as a hurt. And for how it works, you want to put down the question mark right there and label black so they can actually see the text on the add to cart next step is going to be the image with text you want to come here and copy this text which you're going to insert in your image with text and basically title it whatever you want make sure it's relevant to what you've actually put in scroll down to the next image with text do the same thing if it doesn't generate you a third one just like me you can prompt it to do it again just want to take that paragraph if it's too long you can obviously chop it down later because you don't want to leave this chat gpt text plainly in there because people can tell when it's written by AI so later on just want to come and you know thin it down for example there's a whole paragraph I don't need at the bottom there you want to come through and actually delete the title of the multi column and now right here where it says column you also want to take that out and that's where you're going to add an image that's relevant to the point being discussed so like here I'll put like a germ now to delete the button label just click on the multi column and boom it's gone just like that and these three benefits are what you're gonna fill up in your multi column and now for the second rich text you want to click on this second piece of text and finally now the FAQ or frequently asked questions so come here under the rich text add a section collapsible content change that heading to FAQ and now for the rows you want to come over here and basically copy paste everything that's in here into your FAQ. Also make sure you read through the content because ChatGPT is going to make up a lot of nonsense like it can also handle small debris. I don't think it can and you don't want to lie to your customers. So just come through and delete that. If you run out of collapsible rows, you can simply just add another one. You hover next to the bottom one, click the plus and it should make a new one. Once you finish that, you want to change all of them to be a question mark and just like that, the base layout is done. Obviously, this is not the end. You have to come through and fill in the images. And once you finish, the landing page should be looking something like this. For this store, I decided to go with a branded feel when I was running this product. So I just copied over all of my assets like this. You can either put an image up there or text. I decided to go with text because I couldn't really find images that resemble the message I was trying to put across. See the dispensable poop bags, discreet never worry about touching dog poop again you just really want to call out the customer's pain points and provide your product as a solution to those faq same thing now this is still you know the bland version of the website before you've actually optimized it for conversions though i want you to know that your website really isn't the most important part of dropshipping because the most important part is actually your ads because your ads determine 70 percent of your success with any product because you could be having the best website possible but if your ads are not bringing the right amount of traffic or no traffic to your website 
you will not see any sales and that's why i use viral ecom ads it is the most well-known video editing company in the world for dropshipping and has produced over 30 million dollars in e-commerce sales by using the videos produced by viral ecom ads they have an average delivery time of one to three business days and they allow you to send in multiple revisions to the video until you're satisfied at no extra cost now check out viral e-commerce using my affiliate link in the description and use code nate at checkout to get 15 percent off any purchase you make storewide now it's time to modify our website to get us more sales through a process known as conversion rate optimization firstly you must optimize your above the fold section now the above the fold section refers to the part of the website that your customer sees before they have to start scrolling. The first thing is to make sure the customer knows how much they're saving from the compared price, which is the canceled price. Second, you want to make sure that your product review stars are visible above the name of the product. You come back to this first product information tab, you click on add block, and the vitals app must be activated in the store settings, though they'll show you how to do that once you actually install the app onto your store. So I'm gonna just look for it, product review stars right there. And I'm just going to drag that up right here above the title. And if they aren't showing up, you just want to scroll all the way down here and make sure you add your product reviews, ideally before the frequently asked questions. Right here, apps, product reviews. Give it a second. And there are my reviews. Now, when I scroll back up, my stars are right there. Now another thing that you want to make sure you have is that the product image, the next image at least, is a little bit visible because it will prompt the customer to actually click and keep looking at the rest of the images because they can see like you know a little sneak peek of the next one on the side. Now another thing is that you want to make sure your product variants have high quality images. Now that's not something I was able to do on this store. It's a test store that I'm using as an example for this video only. Next you want to add bundles bundles are so essential for increasing your conversion rate because most of the time the customer believes they're getting a deal they would rather purchase the product for let's say 60 percent off to get three and that's a bargain it doesn't take rocket science to understand that so now the way you do that is you come through to the vitals app now you want to come over here to actually not product bundles but volume discounts create volume discounts select your product scoop smart the discount now i'm gonna make it so that for the quantity of two they get 40 percent off and if they buy three they get 60 percent off now once you do this you obviously want to adjust your price point to remain profitable because look this is a business not a charity a business created solely for the purpose of bringing money into your bank account and now when you come back to the landing page boom your volume discounts are ready to be used. I obviously want to adjust the text accordingly because buy more, save more is a little bit bland if you ask me. Next up, you want to add a sticky add to cart. And this is part of the above the fold optimization because ideally when you're optimizing your above the fold, the add to cart button is going to be pushed a little bit down after you add your product review stars, which is why you add the sticky add to cart at the bottom. And another benefit of having it is that once the customer is, you know, a little bit further into your website, it's surprising, but some people are so lazy that they'd rather leave your website instead of just scrolling back up to where the add to cart button is so having a sticky add to cart eliminates the possibility of that happening because it's literally just going to be stuck onto the page as they keep scrolling the add to cart button is just going to be following them so that whenever they want they can click add to cart and give you the money and again you can set that up in the vitals app and that's a wrap folks congratulations on your first step into transforming your dropshipping website into a profitable funnel if you found this video valuable i recommend you to drop a like and subscribe to this channel because i'll be dropping source all year long i'll be making videos like this once a week and you can connect with me on social media to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes exclusive content and until next time keep hustling